To most of the world, this is the glittering vacation paradise called Waikiki, with Diamond Head right next door. But just offshore is another Waikiki. In fact, another world. One that was here long before Waikiki, or Hawaii for that matter. Teeming with life and begging to be discovered. Welcome to an underwater Waikiki paradise, overboard and down under. For more than a thousand years, since Polynesians first set foot on these Hawaiian islands, man has not only used the ocean as a means of transportation, but as a source of food. Modern man, however, in his infinite wisdom, has not cared for the reefs and marine life here as well as he might. Although it may not look like it now, this busiest spot in the Hawaiian Islands was just plain fished out a few short years ago. Man's insatiable desire for fish and other marine products the addition of huge amounts of sand to make Waikiki the tourist mecca it is today. The adverse wave conditions. All this and more added up to Waikiki's coral reef demise. But reefs maintain the geological integrity of an island, and Waikiki needed help. The University of Hawaii Sea Grant Program, with the assistance and support of Atlantis submarines, came up with an ingenious solution. They sunk a ship. They acquired a 174-foot Navy oiler named YO-257, who we call it Yo for short. Under the strict supervision of both the U.S. Coast Guard and the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources, Yo was painstakingly cleaned and treated to comply with health and ecology standards. Then, to make it both diver-friendly and fish-friendly, they poked large holes in the sides. Fish don't like dead, dark water spaces, and neither do we. We all like light and moving water. Not to mention the varied topography, which offers fascinating places to explore, as well as hide, should a passing marlin or tuna slide by looking for a snack. And, of course, they wanted to sink old Yo in the best possible foraging area, so fish would come to call this reef enhancement home, or at least a friendly neighborhood watering hole. Results? Well, they're coming along just swimmingly, thank you.
Now countless species of fish can be found in and around this new mecca of marine life. On endless patrol from bow to stern, by the bridge and across the decks, schools of fish forever exploring their new domain. Mother Nature couldn't have devised a more perfect reef home than old Yo. Here, many fish will come to spawn and multiply and take their schools with them wherever they travel. Secure in the fact that here is a long-lasting, perfect environmental man-made reef where once there was none. A giant playground for a friendly school outing the ultimate game of hide and seek, or just a freewheeling romp through a fascinating liquid landscape. It seems ironic, but fitting somehow that an oil ship, which plied its wares for decades around Pearl Harbor, should find its final resting place in the service of Mother Nature. Here, where humans once lived and worked, future generations of marine life will now flourish and provide lovers of the deep with a fascinating floor show. It may not be a treasure ship in the materialistic realm of things, but it certainly is paradise to fish and diver alike. So come on down.
From the deck of the comfortable and spacious mothership Explorer, Atlantis reef divers can't wait to begin their adventure. And neither can the fish. Because they love to play. And they have a pretty good idea when it's chow time. We say chow advisedly because these fish love dog food. And when the word gets around, you better have plenty because they're very persistent. Well enough of that. Let's go exploring. How many guys are down there anyway? Now here's a family portrait the folks back home will really get a kick out of. Uh, can you pass the Sunday comics, honey? Yes, dear, I always wash my hands. Smokestack sitting? Hey, it's all the rage down here. Who ever thought roaming around an old wreck could be so much fun? But in reality, it's much like snooping around an old deserted house, where you never quite know what you'll come across next. Wait a minute, what's that? Up above. Well, it's not the Navy, but it is a submarine. Why, it's Waikiki's Atlantis submarine. And it's just about to make one of its 11 daily dives to inspect the wreck and surrounding sea life. So let's tag along and see how it looks when you're hanging on to the sub. As you can see, this is no toy model. Atlantis IV is a full 65 feet long and weighs 80 tons. It carries a crew of three and 46 passengers who long to explore the ocean's depths without getting wet. Since Atlantis submarines started bringing the ocean's many wonders to the general public back in 1985, they've made more than 40,000 dives with over a million passengers in complete safety.
In your travels, you'll find Atlantis subs exploring the ocean floors throughout the Caribbean and Guam, as well as Waikiki and Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. What's the biggest bubble in the ocean? Why, the captain's bubble, of course. Bet you never had a scooter like this when you were a kid. As you watch Atlantis divers feeding the fish for the enjoyment of the passengers, you can't help thinking that here is the ultimate aquarium in reverse. The captain turns on the sublights, and it's amazing to see just how maneuverable this 80-ton man-made whale really is. Now it's aloha to Atlantis. It's time for us to return to the safety bar beneath the Explorer and prepare for our next dive. Along the shallow but very busy reef just off famed Hilton Hawaiian Village. In this serene seascape just 20 feet below the surface, life seems, for the most part, to proceed in slow flow. The Moorish idol nibbles on a tasty bit of coral. This is definitely home of the nine-course banquet every day of the year.
and even man's unintended assistance, though not very attractive, seems to serve its purpose. In the intricate scheme of things, there's always something for everyone. This magnificent coral head is called a staghorn. What looks like a beautiful still life is, of course, alive. And dinner for the parrotfish, among others. The sea is full of great disguises, and none is better than this barnacle bill, the scorpion fish. If you really want to fool the gang, try this outfit on for size at your next masquerade party. But when you see its colored fins, keep your distance. It's poisonous. This spine-tingling little sea urchin looks like a black sunburst. While this black and white version could easily be a network peacock with a little practice, it seems like everyone has a special trick to show down here like our friend the Feather Duster. Now you see him, and now you don't. Here's a hawkfish. He actually perches on the coral. There are a lot of eels down here, and this variety is definitely antisocial. But the coronet fish is certainly not camera shy. These goat fish actually get to taste their food before they eat it. variety of puffer fish is called a porcupine fish for obvious reasons. If anyone ever asks you what's so special about diving in general, 
or reef diving in particular, they need look no further than the tranquility, the mystery, the magic of a scene like this. As you glide over, under, around, and through this spectacular freeform world, you sense that, as a tolerated guest in another's domain, your hosts know full well if your intentions are good or evil. Carry a net or spear, and suddenly it's Death Valley. But carry a camera, and everyone's your friend. Well, not everyone. A few, like Mr. Octopus here, are a bit high-strung. But for even the more reluctant residents, like the white mouth moray eel. A camera is your passport to relaxed inter-universe relations. And should you bring along some food, say some squid, this eel will be waiting for your next visit with his cleaner wrasse fish nearby, which actually cleans his teeth between meals. We definitely don't recommend trying this at home. This little cutie is a baby pufferfish, so-called for rather obvious reasons, and it seems to act more like a newborn bird than a fish. Look, Bob, no hands. Hawaii and its reefs are truly unique places to dive. As America's only water state, it offers an immense diversity of fish and endangered species. It's special to us, not only for its ecological importance, but for our special relationship to it and for it. Imagine this just out your back door. So help to reclaim and regenerate our reefs. Dive for the adventure, the experience, 
the unmatched communing with nature. But please, don't take anything living from the ocean. Take only memories. Leave only bubbles.